Hi, this is Chris Davis from Sashka and I'm here with Eric from Pebble and we're looking at the company's wildly successful Kickstarter project, the Pebble Smartwatch. So the first day that it's out in the public. The first day it's been seen in public, in fact. Um, we just had a play with the transparent version, which I know you're not going to... It's nice, is. yeah. It is beautiful. Um, so Eric, it's your first uh, press conference, first big showing at CES. Was it okay? It no, was... I didn't stumble. Big Bird didn't show up though. So I no, that's it. true. <laughs> and no candy on stage. Um, how do you think it's gone? How, do you, how have you found the reception to, to the project? So I'm I'm really I'm really excited because people seem to be uh, latching onto it and kind of you know fills their wishes. What I'm more excited about you know it's fun today, but what I'm really excited about is that in two weeks we'll start shipping to our Kickstarter backers, mm -hmm. and you know they'll tell us what they think. Um, that's going to be the coolest thing ever because you know we're we're a pretty open and transparent company. That means people can email us, they can Facebook, they can Twitter us, and we can see what people think almost in real time. Mm -hmm. So uh, you mentioned during the conference it was going to take maybe six to eight uh, weeks for the shipping to Kickstarter backers. Yeah. To, to, can you tell us a bit about, obviously you've been selling the uh, Pebble on the website. We haven't been selling it. Well, pre taking pre-orders for it on the... Unpaid pre-orders. Unpaid pre so it's people that are lying. The Kickstarter backers are the number one priority though. Every okay. single Kickstarter backer will receive their watch before we start shipping it from new houses. Okay, and do you have any, uh, can you tell us any numbers about how many people are, have kind of put down a, a non-payment pre-order? Oh, the pre-order? Uh, I think it's in the tens of thousands now. I don't think it's past our Kickstarter total. Okay. And do you have any idea maybe of how long it could take to ship out uh, those devices for people who maybe are coming to it having seen? So we're plastic. planning like our manufacturing process, our manufacturing line is going to be able to spit out 15,000 couples per week at its peak. So once we finish our Kickstarter, we're just going to blow through and keep making more watches until people don't want them anymore. Okay. Uh, uh, Chris, I have a question for Eric Fergie. Hey Eric, so we've seen big guys out there who are trying to do the same thing and with tons of funding. Um, other than your talent, what makes Pebble uh, such a raging success? I mean, what is your secret sauce that you can share? With so I, I think it's honestly because we managed, for some crazy reason, to piece together the puzzle in the precise way that sort of caught people's imagination. Mm -hmm. So number one was the e-paper screen. Right. It's like, you have a watch, um, our first watch had an OLED display, kind of got a little washed out outside. So we knew that you had to have a screen that would work outdoors, mm -hmm. and you had to have a screen that would be on 24-7. Because it's a watch, it's not meant to be like a computer or something like that. Right. So, that's why, so that's one of the things that I think we got right. The second one was the battery life. You know, you don't want to have to charge your watch every day. So a no. seven day battery life is kind of the minimum of a feasible amount. So by combining those things, and then also the, the idea that you know smartphones are immensely popular, mm -hmm. and by latching on and not actually having a data connection in the watch, you know, we're using the data connection on the phone. The Pebble becomes an accessory for the phone. Mm -hmm. So with those three things, that was kind of the perfect storm that I think we cut onto. Okay. I had a question about kind of the future roadmap. Um, obviously, you've built in some hardware there, which will. Uh, kind of give Pebble an extra lease of life, perhaps like the, uh, the Bluetooth yeah. 4.0 um, abilities. Exactly. Yeah, we think about it as like future-proofing the Pebble, mm -hmm. so that as we publish new software updates, the same Pebble that ships out to the first Kickstarter backer mm -hmm. will be able to, to 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 run all the updates that we're working on. How, is the, how do you think that's going to affect battery life? Because obviously one of the things that Bluetooth 4.0 um, is going to be pushed uh, So push it well. might help battery life. We're not sure. Um, okay. the, the the truth is that. Uh, a, we probably won't be able to, like the number of features that we have here um, probably won't work all with 4.0, so we'll need 2.1 and 4. Right. Um, but we'll see. Okay. That's it's going to be fun. Thank you very much for your time. Cool. We've Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.